Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well today I'm going to be bringing you a DIY and it will be a glam DIY. I found these two large uh, brandy snifters at my local thrift shop and I also have this wooden uh, craft frame made by Park Lane uh, that I found for 90 cents. It was on clearance. I'm also going to be using a couple of different shades of paint. I'm using Treasure Gold, uh, Pink Zircon, and Platinum Paint, as well as some Mod Podge. And uh, I'm going to be using, of course, some fabric trims and some other items, but I hope you like what I do with these pieces. All right, now, as always, the first thing I always do with glass uh, before I clean it or before I paint it is to wipe each piece and dry it wipe it with alcohol then dry it that way you make sure that your paint will adhere a little better now here you'll see that I'm going to start just applying my paint um, now this treasure gold paint while the finish is really nice if you use it and especially if you use it on glass when you put the first coat on, just know that it is not going to maybe look like you expect it to look. You are going to have to apply this paint in two to maybe three coats to get the finish you want, unless you want a really translucent finish. I want these bases to be more of an opaque finish, so I'm going to come back and apply a couple of coats. Now again, if you follow this channel, you've heard me say this before. But if you're new and, you, and this is your first time watching, um, basically I'm using a, a brush that is made for acrylic. That's number one. And I am going to try to keep my strokes as even as possible. I'll go in the same direction as much as possible. And um, then again, I will let this first coat dry. I like to let it dry for a couple of hours but you want to let it dry at least an hour. Now, when I'm not in a hurry, sometimes I will put the coat on, the first coat, and let it dry overnight. Uh, for these DIYs, I didn't do that. I waited, I believe, an hour in between each of the, the first coat and the second coat, and then I waited maybe 30 minutes for before I put on the third and the final coat. Either way, it just depends on how dry your your you know your your area is that you're working in. If you're working in a lot of humidity, then you may want to let it dry a little bit longer. Now here you see me just taking the uh, back out of my frame so that I could go ahead and get it painted. Now I'm gonna apply a couple of coats to the frame as well, um, and uh, I'll paint the sides as well as the back and I do believe I end up painting the back off camera and uh, once I let that dry then I'll go ahead and start uh, doing the DIY or completing the DIY on the frame. All right guys so I'm going to stop talking for a little bit and I will be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the frame. Now I'm going to be trimming out the frame in fabric trim. Uh, this is a rhinestone fabric trim that uh, if you're new to the channel, um, I get all of my trims from Joanne Fabric. If you're a member of the channel or if you watched my videos before, then you would have seen me use this particular fabric trim. Um, it is a beautiful rhinestone trim and uh, I just love it and I work with it all the time. So here you'll see that I'm going to trim the inside of the frame. Uh, also, I'll go around the outer uh, part of this, of this little center part of the frame as well as trim out uh, the outside edges of the frame. 
Now, um, the one thing I'll say as I'm doing this, that I, I kind of went backwards here. So in a little bit, you're going to see that I'm actually going to end up painting that raised part of the frame. Initially, I wasn't going to do that because what I'm the, I'm planning to use some gems on that part of the frame, and I didn't think I would need to paint it because I didn't think it, you would be able to see it, you know. But I realized as I started doing my gem pattern that I did need to paint need to paint it. So just want to let you know that this is going to seem like it's a little bit out of order. So I I should have painted that raised uh, part of the frame before I did the gems and uh, you know so you do this DIY yourself make sure you do all your painting <laughs> before you add any of your fabric trim so once I get done adding the fabric trim then I'll go ahead and start doing the um, the uh, the uh, acrylic gems all right guys now I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY So now that the uh, paint is dry, and I did go ahead and use the silver paint, that way if there's a space between the gems, it won't show through. Um, the first thing that you're going to see me do here is I'm going to space the gems out um, and lay out my pattern. Usually when I work with these gems, um, I have found that it's better to do that before you glue them down and just make sure that everything looks like you want it to look. Now, once I get all the gems in place, you're going to see me use some hot glue. Now, I don't use hot glue as much as I used to, but for gems, uh, whenever I can, I do use it. Now, um, because I'm gluing these to wood, I'm not as concerned as I would be if I was gluing them to glass because if you've ever used hot glue on glass, then you already know, uh, you know, they tend to come off um, the, the gems or whatever it is that you're hot gluing because the hot glue breaks down and it doesn't last. But it does last a little bit better when you use it on wood. Um, also, to make sure you don't discolor your gems, if your hot glue gun has two heat settings, go with the lower heat setting. Um, now, I usually, if I do use hot glue, uh, I use Gorilla Hot Glue because it just has a better hold than the, uh, the Bargain or the, the other brands that might be out there. Now, once I finally, and you'll see me kind of taking gems off and putting them on, because some of these smaller square gems are slightly different size, and um, I had to find the right ones. Now, once I've got the pattern exactly like I want it, then you'll see that I'm going to start taking the gems off, and I'll start with the larger gems first. Um, I'll do the ones uh, in the uh, corners and uh, on the sides, and then I'll hot glue the smaller gems. There you see me taking off my gloves because they were kind of getting in my way. But again, I'll go ahead and start doing the corner pieces first, and I uh, just kind of work my way around until all the gems are glued down, and then we'll move on to the next part of the DIY. Also, uh, I am also going to go ahead and add um, some butterfly mirrors to the mirror frame again this is sort of a spring look I'm going for and I did have some mirrored butterflies that were left over from another project so I'm going to go ahead and use them on this frame and I'll glue those on with E6000 quick hold 
All right, guys, I'll let you watch me do this part and I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm using this mirror reflective paper and uh, I'm gonna use my frame for as like a little mirror for right now but of course I can put a picture in it you know if I want to and um, but for now I'm gonna use it as a mirror and um, I may come back and do something else to this frame too but not in this video um, for now uh, again what I'll be doing is I'm going to take the center out and uh, there you see me gluing down a gem that I thought I had already glued down. What I'm going to do and what I did is just take the center out and then uh, go ahead and use that mirror reflective paper. Now I'm going to add my little mirror butterflies. Now these butterflies come like six or seven in a pack. Um, and you can buy them from Walmart. They come in multiple sizes and they're really inexpensive. All right, so now uh, I am going to go ahead and start working on the uh, brandy snifters. And uh, first you're going to see that I'm going to paint the bottom um, or the, you know, the little, the, the neck, stem, whatever you call it, uh, of the vase with this platinum paint. And that's not all I'm going to do to it. So you'll notice I'm not being very neat with my margins because I know that I'm going to come back and do a little bit more. But I want to have this platinum paint uh, be there before I do what, you know, the next step in the DIY. So, all right, guys, um, I'm going to stop talking again for a little bit. Well, maybe I'm not going to stop talking because it looks like I'm jumping right into the next part of the DIY. All right, so here what I'm doing, guys, is I am adding the fabric trim. Now, um, I've decided to go vertical uh, on these uh, snifters. Originally, I was going to do something in a horizontal design. I thought that would be pretty, and it probably would have been, but uh, I decided to go ahead and do go vertical. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that that's kind of my preferred for me. I just love to see things, um, do my decor and do my decorations in the vertical. It's a little bit easier to, to get them straight, keep everything lined up. But um, anyway, that's what I'm doing. So here you see that I've cut three different types of fabric or two different types of fabric trim. And I'm going to do rows of three on both sides. And there you see me just kind of getting everything lined up. Now, once I do one side, I will go around and do the other side. And, uh, and then uh, you're also going to see me add a little bit of trim to the neck to kind of make things look even and neat. And then once that's done, I'll move on to the next part of the DIY. Um, always for my glue, for fabric trim, uh, you know, or any type of bling wrap. I'm always using E6000 Quick Hold. Um, if you're new to the channel, that is my glue of choice because it's a thinner version of E6000. It's a strong hold. It's much better than that glue that you buy from Dollar Tree, and I can't think of the name of it right now. But, you know, your pieces won't fall apart. Let's put it that way. 
Um, every now and then you might have to come back and repair something if you don't get the if you don't uh, glue it uh, properly the first in the first place. But for the most part, this glue really lasts. All right, guys. So I'll I've turned the snifter on its side so that I could go ahead and uh, place my fabric trim. Now I'll let you watch me do this part and then I will be back. This time I'm gonna stop talking until I get to the next part of the DIY. So now I'm going to use my Mod Podge. Now this has to be done with a Mod Podge gloss, which dries clear and gives you a nice, nice shine. Uh, and basically I'm just painting the Mod Podge on over the painted area at the bottom of the vase. Now you certainly don't have to do this. Um, I'm doing it because I love a little, I'm a little bit extra and I want a little more bling and I didn't want to just do it with the bling wrap or the fabric trim. So uh, now when you're putting this on, the Mod Podge is white. So this doesn't look as, the, the longer this Mod Podge dries, it will get, you know, more clear and have more of a glassy look. And uh, the prettier this will look. And uh, basically what I'm sprinkling on is what it's they're called uh, diamond dots. And I'll make sure that I leave uh, the number down in the description box. I usually buy these uh, from Joanne Fabrics and they're really inexpensive and they're just rent many little rhinestones, miniature rhinestones. Now, most people use them for art. I happen to use them for my glam DIYs. 
Um, all right, now that that's done, I'm going to set that aside to dry. Again, that's a really easy process. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and repeat all the same steps on the smaller snifter. So again, you're going to see me do the fabric trim, or <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, the, the rhinestone fabric trim. Uh, and I'm using two different types. One is made by Additions, and uh, the other one, and I forget the name of it that I use all the time, but I'll link that down in my description box. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to go ahead and do the Mod Podge treatment. And again, it's really simple. I'm going to paint uh, just the bottom part of the snifter, the little stem that I've painted with the uh, platinum paint with the Mod Podge. And then I'll go ahead and just sprinkle on the diamond dots. And then once it sets, the Mod Podge will dry clear, and then you'll just have that rind the rhinestones uh, sparkling um, down at the bottom. So uh, I'll let you watch me do this, guys, and hang on, because when I come back, it'll be time for the final reveal. Now this is the finished look. You know what? I think I like these faces. I do think I like them, but you let me know what you think. Uh, there you can see I've placed some spring florals in both of the vases. Um, I like them. I like them. And I wish that this color pink would really show up uh, a little bit better in video. Again, it's a blush pink, but it kind of looks different on camera but what can you do um now there's my little mirror uh picture frame mirror i'm using it as a mirror right now with the little butterflies and uh i think i like how that came out it's different and uh we'll see what i do with it 
but overall again i like it a little interesting a little different but um but i think i'll be able to use these centerpieces somewhere in my decor uh, again, I'm going to be going with some elements of pink for spring. Now, I like to always show you something that I've made in other videos. So uh, there's a couple of, uh, cal of uh, candle holders in using the same color pink. And that uh, in the middle is a uh, chandelier candle holder that I made a long time ago. All right, guys, listen, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll decide to do that and subscribe. Also, please go, if you will, and visit my um, other channels, Tablescapes by Candy and the Glam Decor channel. All right, everyone. Again, like I say at the end of every video, I cannot wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thank you for watching.